Hello and welcome to Sobricks. I'm Adam and this is Sobricks. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Lego Technic Race Plane. This is set number 42117. It has 154 pieces and I paid $10 for this set. Um, I did get this set when Technic was on double VIP, so that's nice. Uh, and I did wonder, um, because I've done a lot of other smaller Technic sets with you know, slightly more pieces than this, perhaps. The Telehandler, the uh, Snowmobile, or the Snow Groomer, um, and various other sets, uh, and the Motorcycle. And they've all been two in one, but all of those were $13, and this one was $10, so I was a little bit curious. I thought those other ones should have been $10, uh, but this one is maybe in line with that. And like those other ones, this is a two in one, so I will be doing a, another video where I look at the alternate model here. But at least for this video, I'm going to open this up, I'm going to put this together, and then I'm going to share my thoughts on it. So while I build, I will speed the video up, and then I'll slow it back down to review this set. So, until then, enjoy! Okay, so while we look at the build process for this LEGO Technic race plane set, I just wanted to say thank you for watching and then to remind you uh, that if you like this video, please consider clicking the thumbs up and giving it a like. And if you like my other videos, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Um, all these subscribes, likes, comments, all of that stuff really, really helps me a lot. It helps my channel grow, so it is very appreciated. Uh, and so thank you very much. Now for the rest of the build for this LEGO Technic race plane set. And then on to my review for this set. Okay, so that is this Lego Technic race plane set. This is great. This is bigger than I expected. It's a lot different than um, many other Technic sets of this size that I've done. The colors are really nice. Um, there's more brick elements than I than I thought there would be, but uh, still mostly Technic. Uh, and um, the function's great. I think there's a lot of play here. And yeah, it's it's just a lot wider than I thought it was going to be, a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, especially compared to the box and the piece count. Granted, these wing pieces are quite large. Um, it's still pretty, pretty cool. And I think good value for this set. I mean, $10 for this feels better to me than $13 for one of those other Technic sets like the motorcycle or the telehandler or the snow groomer or the dump truck or all those all those ones um this feels pretty cool and this is a two-in-one and it is sort of somewhat similar it's also i don't build a lot of technic in general but i've been building more of it but mostly it's been cars a few odd a bike motorcycle here and there other types of vehicles not many planes have i done just as i haven't done many like any any technic like helicopters or technic planes i know there's a um there is a technic set that is like a firefighting plane that i've been kind of eyeing but also not really but it's just interesting to see how you know the system is used for different types of vehicles but th but this is really really cool and um there, so there are some stickers, so I'll point those out. We get big stickers on the uh, on the wings here that says, I think it's supposed to be Loop King or Leap King. Loop, probably. Um, and there's a sticker on the side there, sticker on the side there, and then on the back here, there's two more stickers. So um, those stickers, and then there's stickers on the front, on the propeller, on the blades of the propeller. Now these, I was hoping were prints. Um, I would have liked for that to be printed on there. Uh, as is, it's fine, but it would have been a lot nicer if those were printed on the element here. Um, there's some gear work in here, which is kind of interesting. The way this came together was just really unique. It's very, like, it uses a lot of these half beams, and you kind of put it together, and then how this was all constructed so that this can, like, set sit recessed in and only stud down kind of one spot. I mean, 
Oh, I guess it studs down a couple more spots. I didn't even realize that. That's yeah, this is really cool how they did this. So it studs down right here, but it studs down two other spots in there. So this kind of sits recessed down in there like that, which I think is actually really cool. Um, we have some wheels here that are just like the very basic Technic wheels that go over just a Technic um, bushing, you know, gray little piece here. And uh, that's great, but there is kind of a function. There's some gear work. So we can see down on the wheels down here, there's some gear work and there's some gear work like those tapered gears up here as well. So when we push this across when the wheels down here spin the propeller spins um, which is very cool and you know presumably when the propeller spins the wheels spin but I think that's a pretty cool um, function actually uh, as far as you know what these could do I mean I think that works really well and it's pretty neat you know when you're flying when you if you're playing with this and swooshing this around this isn't going to continue to spin um, and if there was a way to like disengage that so then you could just like hit this to just like spin on its own um, that'd be really really cool so if I could just like flick one of the blades and it would just start spinning it'd be cool if you could kind of switch it between like having this for takeoff and then swooshing it and could flick it and and spin or something else but um, that works really nice a fun little fun little thing there a nice simple mechanism couple gears very cool feels pretty solid um, and yeah totally swooshable like I said the colors are great and this is just a fun little model I think ten dollars is right on the money for this and um, it's uh, really nice the shaping is nice the profile looks pretty cool the stickers are you know fine I mean these are relatively big easy enough to put on the ones on the beams are easy these don't bother me that much and maybe they add a lot they add some detail and the, the color scheme is just generally very good and the stickers the color match on these stickers is, is quite good as well so um, that's very nice to see this kind of tealish um, color matches is, is pretty good which I like and uh, yeah, this is just really, really fun. You can see the extra pieces over here, some small ones, your one by ones, your cheese slopes, a couple small pins and uh, different different stuff. Oh, you know what? It looks like I have two red slopes here, which means maybe one side is supposed to be red and one side is supposed to be the other color is that right so this one's maybe that color and that one's is that a different color hmm well we'll pop one of those off uh there so they have lights on the wings i believe planes are supposed to have like different colored lights on the on their wings but uh, this one then kind of has that there i just didn't realize that but noticed it when i was looking at the extra pieces so uh, other than that just your basic extra pieces um nothing too crazy but a couple cheese slopes um some translucent ones standard stuff here uh this set is 154 pieces for ten dollars well, uh, some of those other technic sets that i referenced are you know 170 pieces for thirteen dollars not a ton uh, of difference not a, i think very many like different specialty pieces or anything like that these do have the big wing pieces which are some among the bigger pieces um out of all these small technic sets so and some of those even had like the chain link which eats up a lot of your you know piece count um so this is a great value compared to those and yeah it's very very fun it's very cool and like those this is a two-in-one so there is an alternate build here which on the back it says it calls this a jet aeroplane or airplane this is uh, a race plane and then there's a, a jet plane there um so in a uh, subsequent video i'm going to be taking this apart and building the jet airplane and kind of giving my final verdict on this set but at least from this main model i think this is uh, really really nice it's pretty cool so i like it if you like this video maybe consider clicking that thumbs up and giving it a like and if you like the other videos on my channel please consider subscribing to it and clicking that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the lego videos i'll be doing here in the future including that alternate model for this set and then other technic sets and just 
other Lego sets from all different themes, all different shapes, sizes, price points, piece counts, big, small, uh, Technic, brick system, all different stuff. So click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming Lego videos. And if you want to support this channel, the best way to do that is over at the Sew Bricks Patreon, which is patreon.com slash sewbricks. And over there, uh, you can join for as little as $2 a month and get access to all my videos early, exclusive content, some Q&As, uh, live stream stuff over there eventually. And I have a lot of stuff in the works for over there. So as that continues to grow, I'm going to keep delivering and trying new things over there. Um, every little bit helps. I am not sponsored by any company. I'm not part of the Lego Ambassador Network or anything. So I pay for everything um, with my own money. And so if you want to uh, give back at all, it is appreciated. And the Patreon is the best way to do that for right now. Um, but otherwise, just likes, comments, subscribes are, are very, very cool too. So with all that said, until next time, thanks. Bye.